Governor Roy Cooper is tweeting out at ESPN saying, hey, it's pretty pretty (laughs) glaring that the national broadcast doesn't even give Carolina much kudos or uh, just the it is very, very one sided. I remember actually sitting here in studio yesterday ahead of game four with Luis Fernandez and ESPN is running a hockey package. Yeah. You know, promoting game four from yesterday because it was on ESPN. Right. So it was on Sports Center or whatever it was. Man, it was all the conversation was about the New Jersey Devils. All about New Jersey. How can you do percent How can Even, they be better? How can the goal like, This is be how better? great Jack Hughes is. This is all that's not, not taking away from Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes he's is fantastic. phenomenal. He's one of the best hockey players in the world, and he's 22, 23 years old. And it was all it was. 100% all that it was. Even P.K. Subban on the national broadcast, who's the studio analyst for ESPN, was like, yeah, former my New boys, devil. my devils. Yeah. I know he's a former devil, but... The only person I felt like yesterday after the game was Chris Chelios was just like, yeah, Carolina was the dominant team. Yeah, they're that good. Right. He was the only one that was actually giving kudos. And then it was funny, just begrudgingly, it felt like P.K. Subban was just, I mean, even Mark Messier, they just, even the broadcast as a whole was just like, well, I mean, Carolina did win. I guess we got to give them credit. Well, they just yeah. they smacked the Devils around again for a third time in a row, or third time in four games. Exactly. Well, what, what do you mean? It, oh, I guess we got to give Carolina credit. Well, you're damn right, you should. Right. Right. Well, and what what really stood out to me the entire time is it's not. Hey, look how look how great that goal was set up by you know whoever like the the one you were talking about Pesci to Natchez Natchez dumps it in to Drury and Drury around the back. It wasn't breaking that down. It's oh here's how here's how Jersey they they fumbled the bag. Yeah. Here's how here's how Jersey messed up. Here's how the Devils could have what the Devils could have done. Not oh the Canes just broke down their defense again again just four checked. Again and again, and kept the puck and kept just pouring it on. It wasn't, hey, great job, Canes. It was, ah, the Devils, if they only did this, if they only did that. For some reason, and the NHL has acknowledged how how, how Raleigh as a hockey market is growing continuously, and how it, hey, no, this is a hockey town. People around I've been here this love drug hockey. for a long time. Ever since I moved here three years ago, yeah, I, I was stu- three years ago. COVID years, it took it took a while to come around. But mm-hmm. then once once fans were let back in that building, I'm telling you what this is. This is a hockey town, and I've been beating that drum ever since fans were let back in. And and I'm I know I'm not the only one. I know people have been telling the world how great of a hockey town this has been before that. Before yeah. I've been here, and, and you come from St. Louis, which has a a deep a deep hockey history way back in the sixties and seventies. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so you you understand it from I, a couple can, different markets, right? And I can appreciate it from that perspective. The fans here know what they got. The mm-hmm. fans get it. The fans get it. And I just don't understand why national writers, broadcasters, what have you, don't see it. Because then the Canes go on to set a bunch of records whenever we host the stadium series. Such as? They had some of the best viewership in years Mm -hmm. of a game that a lot of people don't even want anymore. There's a lot of talk out there about how this is just a this is just a uh, a gag for the NHL to just do something a little different. It's not the winter classic, so it's not as cool. Yeah. But then 1.5 1.5 million viewers at its peak for the stadium series, the most viewership that the stadium series game has had mm-hmm. since 2019 by a long shot. Locally, it had over $20 million of an economic impact locally by setting sales record after sales record online and, and in person. And if you were here for that game, whether or not you went to it, you knew it was in town. Yeah, and that's why this is a hockey town. And we even seen Nashville, which Na- it was Nashville, Tampa Bay, was the Stadium Series uh, last season, right? Okay, the viewership was up seventy nine percent from that game last season between Tampa Bay and Nashville. And this is a Nashville team that went to the Stanley Cup Finals not that long ago. 
and another Southern market that has embraced hockey a bit. Yeah. But that game was played in Nashville. This this blew it out the water Two in terms cities, of viewership. Tampa Bay and Nashville, if you want to include Tampa Bay in that, because yeah. the fan base of obviously is watching that game. Two cities that have multiple professional sports. Mm -hmm. Raleigh has the Canes. This is a hockey town. Yeah. Why is nobody respecting that on the national stage? No one wants to. You even have Sean McDonough on the broadcast yesterday when Jordan Martinook is lighting the lamp, literally. This, sar Make this call felt so sarcastic to me. Just making jokes. Here comes Martinook. All of a sudden, he's Wayne Gretzky and he scores. This is an incredible story. Jordan Martinook. Shoot it any better than this. Right from the dot. Okay, so that's the Sean down. McDonough on the call. Yes, it went bar down. But he didn't know he was going to score there. No, he didn't. Was, oh, no, he's, he's oh. Wayne Gretzky. Like, wait, wait, I, I, what is I that supposed know to what, mean? what he would have said if he didn't score there. That's a great I'm, point. I'm curious what was next. What was next in that thought process? I don't know. Because what point are you trying to make there? Great question. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm. It confuses me and it perplexes me that we see it consistently from the national broadcasts of, you know what? Everyone wants to be with the New York teams and all that kind of stuff. I I, I get the understanding that it's a larger media market, but hey, national media, you need to embrace the fact that this franchise, the Carolina Hurricanes. The only franchise in the NHL the last five seasons to have won a playoff series mm -hmm. in each of the last five years. That includes Tampa. That includes Boston, Rangers, Devils, whomever. The only one in the last five years, Colorado, just won a cup. Now, I understand Carolina hasn't gotten to a Stanley Cup, but they're the only team that has won a, a, a series in the Stanley Cup in the last five years. The only one. So you better put some respect on their name. I get it they don't have... They don't have a Jack Hughes on the team. So again, there's Connor McDavid is his own he's a, he's a he's a a unicorn. Yeah. All right. He is the He's not even the, real. he's 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 the true outlier. But you look at the elite players of the NHL, where you're looking at a Leon Dreisidel, mm -hmm. a Jack Hughes, for example, an Austin Matthews. The next quote unquote tier down below that, that's where you get a Svechnikov or a Aho, some of these other guys. They don't have quite that. Jack Hughes player, which is fine. Sebastian Ajo, I think, is on that fringe of getting up into that. I but think is, too. I, I agree with you on that. So I get from a national standpoint, they don't have that quote-unquote mega star. But this team is... It's the second best record, second in, best the record in the NHL. NHL. They've won three wow. straight division championships. <laughs> Why are we so surprised? They blew out the Devils again. Why are you so surprised? Like What, what are we doing here? And you know, it's something that Shane Willis actually said yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, something I'm going to go ahead and pull this up real fast. Um, so you know what? The guys in the locker room don't need any of the recognition. I'll go ahead and actually, uh, I'll go and look up the quote here uh, real fast from Shane Willis. I know he said it yesterday in the Bally Sports post game. Mm -hmm. This is what he said. Carolina and their game yesterday didn't need to have... I'm paraphrasing here. You know what? They don't need the national recognition. Even called out P.K. Subban mm. saying, hey, you know what? It's okay. We don't need that kind of stuff because those guys are taking care of business with each other in the locker room. You know what? This is why Carolina Hurricanes fans, and I embrace this too, it's us against the world. Absolutely. It's and this us is against the town. world embracing it. And I love it. And I'm for it. Keep having that mentality, Carolina Hurricanes fans. Show your passion. Yeah. Show your passion by how you you post online. Show your passion the about the tailgates, loudest house in the NHL. Loudest house in the NHL. Keep proving it every single time that 